Tony Bellew, uh, who's obviously faced Usyk, said that Fury struggles with fighters smaller and quicker than him, and now he's facing, facing potentially the best, the quickest, the smallest fighter, the best one of the lot in the world. Is that a concern for Tyson Fury? If you're, if, if you're a Tyson Fury fan, are you concerned that he may have struggled with smaller fighters in the past? I think Tyson Fury has to be the best version of himself. Anything less than he loses. He said and done everything and put his name, his, his reputation, his achievements on the line and said, how am I going to let a little gap team cruiserweight step up to beat me historically? It, it doesn't happen. And it, it, when he said it, his presser, I actually agree with him. The best heavyweights will not be beaten by the best cruiserweights. The best cruiserweights will beat most heavyweights, but not the top tier ones. So if Tyson Fury is still top tier, still at his best, he wins. If he's anything below that, he loses against a guy that, that is far too dangerous to give that chance to. All right, Johnny, I uh, appreciate your time. And there is once again Johnny Nelson's take on Tony Bellew's uh, prediction or comments about Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury, that Tyson Fury has problems with smaller fighters. Okay, now let me say this by my counterpunch off top. Okay, first of all, Johnny didn't answer the question. <laughs> he didn't say anything about Tony Bellew's comment whatsoever. So let me say it for you guys. Um, does Tyson Fury have problems with smaller fighters? And yes, you have to say yes, he does. He has problems with smaller heavyweights. He's admitted that himself on Joe Rogan in front of millions of people, millions of views, millions of times people have saw that interview where Tyson Fury said, I have problems with smaller fighters. That's why he was discussing the Steve Hunting Cunningham fight. And Steve Cunningham was a cruiserweight. He was a guy that, you know, moved up to heavyweight and he was a problem for uh, Tyson Fury for a while in that fight. I think he ran out of gas, but normally, you know, uh, and, and, and on record Tyson Fury has said that he has problems dealing with smaller heavyweight. So what Tony Bell, you said is based on fact, based on what Tyson Fury said. Now, now Tony may believe it and we can dive into that for a minute. Okay. Don't, okay. Tony Bell, you got knocked out by Alexander Usyk after he put on one hell of a performance in about four or five rounds against the Ukrainian unified champion currently. You know what I mean? When he was the undisputed cruiserweight champion currently at that time. And I'd say where Alexander Usyk, what he did to Tony Bellew, Tony Bellew had to respect that. And I think because of the way Alexander Usyk had just made these adjustments to catch Tony Bellew, because he was a slippery fella. He was slippery as a fish that slipped out of a fishbowl and flopping around on the floor. You couldn't catch him. You know what I mean? He was mean. He was lean. He was doing all the right things. He was countering. You know what I mean? He was revving everybody up. That 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 UK electric crowd, that energy was all through that place. And everything Tony did had everybody. Ah. <laughs> Until Alexander Usyk caught him. And he started catching him anyway before that. It just, just one lucky punch. No, he started making adjustments to Tony Bellew. And when he started making those adjustments, you know, Tony, st Tony started to slow down because he had ran out of gas his damn self because it's a hell of a thing doing what he did that one, two, three, four, five rounds, it, you know, and the way he did it, you know, I don't think he had enough energy to drag Alexander Usyk into deep water. And he said he wants it. He wants to bring it to a very dark place. Right. How Tony Bell, you says it. Right. Well, that didn't happen. He got knocked out. And I think what happens when these guys get knocked out by these fighters, they become automatic fans and admirers of that fighter that did something that nobody's did to them. You see what I mean? So to my knowledge, nobody had got Tony Bell, you like that ever. I think he fought uh, Superman Stevenson once upon a time. Right. Um but I can't remember the outcome of that fight, so I got to go back and research that. However, uh, Alexander Usyk definitely made an uh, impression in Tony Bellew's mind, okay? But does that have every anything, saying what I just said, you know, going back to that date, does that have anything to do with what Tyson Fury said? And I would have to say no. I think Tyson Fury's um, decision or, or, or uh, opinion, 
opinion dealt with the fact that he has problems with smaller fighters. So Tony Bellew is right. And he's right. And, it, and there's no really no discussion to ask anyone else. Maybe that's why Johnny Nelson didn't even really go there. No, he just said, well, hey, if 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 Tyson Fury and let's talk about that for a minute, if Tyson Fury goes in and he goes in there any less than how he's supposed to be, he loses because, you know, Johnny Nelson knows that Usyk is going to come in tip top. So if you don't come in your best, he's going to test that you didn't come in at your best and you best rest assured that he's going to come in and do exactly what you supposed to done before you got your ass in that ring with him, okay? And he's going to find out. So if there's any weakness, if there's any stamina issues, they're going to be figured out that night. He's going to find out, okay, can you keep up with me? He's going to hear your breathing. He's going to see your eye movement. He's going to look at your body language. If, if Tyson Fury starts grabbing a whole lot, that means he's tired. So if he's not ready to deal with someone like Usyk, and the, and the constant movement and the pressure and, and the mobility and all these punches that will be thrown at him from different angles, in and out, back and forth, side to side. Yeah, he will lose. You know, I just think Usyk's just a better overall fighter anyway. And, I, and Tyson Fury, to me, hasn't really fought anyone. Steve Cunningham was a long time ago, people. He hasn't fought anyone to prepare him for someone like that because he's never been in there with someone like that. But the same thing is to Alexander Usyk. Has he ever been in there with a six foot nine fighter that can move like Tyson Fury? I don't buy. He doesn't have the legs no more. I just think they're not the way they used to be before. Bars. But I do think he has uh, footwork. I think he has his legs. I just think the crunk style was to camouflage the fact that he doesn't like to move like he's supposed to, but he does move when he needs to i.e. Ja, um, Francis Ngono, okay? Because he had to move around in that fight. He was going to get knocked out, okay? Because if he tried that crunk style uh, with Francis Ngono, Ngono would have showed him where Cameroon is because that's where he would have knocked his head. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Johnny Nelson responding to Tony Bellew's comments of Tyson Fury having problem with smaller heavyweights. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.